All right, let's figure out the derivative of cosecant x. And to do this, we can first write this as 1 over sine x, because we know the derivative of sine is x already. So let's go ahead and have a look. To take the derivative of 1 over sine x, we can actually just use the quotient rule. And let me just put that down on the side for you guys. I'm going to write down the bottom function, which is just sine x. And then the top function is 1. So let me put that down right here for you guys. OK. To take the derivative of sine x, well, just remember your derivative, right? We did that already. That will give us cosine x. And then the derivative of 1 is 0. So that will be nice. OK, here we go. To take the derivative of this, there's no more ddx symbol. We'll just get the result. So let's go ahead and put down a, a fraction bar. And then let's square the bottom, which we have to square sine x. And then for the top, we do this times that first. So sine x times 0. Let me just show you guys all the work. I know the answer is 0 for that part. okay? And then we are going to subtract this times that. right? So we have 1 times cosine x. All right, so, so far so good. But of course, we know that this right here is equal to 0. And right here, we have negative cosine x. So let me just write that down right here. We have negative cosine x on the top over here we have sine x squared which means we have sine x times sine x and the reason that i want to do this is because this right here is like negative one right negative one and then right here i'm going to pair that one with this sine x right here because one over sine x can be rewritten as cosecant so let's go ahead and write that. So we have negative all the way in the front right here. And 1 over sine x is cosecant x. And then now, when we have cosine x over sine x, that's the same as cotangent x. So cot x. Therefore, the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotangent x. One way to remember this is that when we are taking the derivative of like a regular trig functions, the ones that have c, well, they will have negative derivative. And for cosecant, you first repeat that, and then you pair that up with cotangent x. Right? So that's it.